Post trib moment number 29. Here we go again. And you'll see another little desperate piece of lion. Or wherefore comfort one another with these words. So right there in the famous rapture passage in 1 Thessalonians 4, the Bible says that it is the coming of the Lord. We which are alive and remain under the coming of the Lord. Now what he does is, and it's just, it's so pathetic. He says, <clears throat> because it says the coming of the Lord, then the second coming of the Lord is the same word in coming, so it must be the second coming. Oh, for goodness sake. I mean, th th this guy is such an idiot. I'm sorry, there's no nice way for me to put this thing. He is just, he's a buffoon. All right? Because it says coming doesn't prove that it's the second coming. All right? Jesus is coming in the clouds at the rapture. All right? He's coming to receive his bride before he pours out judgment on the earth. Okay? And then he comes back with his bride, with the church. He comes with ten thousands of his saints. Okay, at the second coming. This guy is just so desperate. He's just grasping at straws to try and prove his warped heresy. Now check out what he says here. This just to show more of his ignorance here. What happens in Revelation 19 takes place after. If anything, that's a third coming. If you want to look at it that way. Uh, Revelation 19 is a third coming. Okay. But it's definitely not the second coming. This oh, the, the, it's definitely not the second coming. Revelation chapter 19 is definitely not the second coming. Oh, really? I don't know anybody that teaches this. The second coming is Revelation chapter 19. How could you be such a fool to believe that it isn't? I mean, look at the thing. Revelation chapter 19. I saw heaven opened, and in behold a white horse, and see that he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Then he comes down, and he makes war. He calls, first of all, he calls, uh, there's an angel that calls the fowls to fly in the midst of heaven to come and gather themselves together under the great supper, or the, yeah, the great supper of the great God. You know, that's what's going on there. Compare that to Luke Okay, here you have Jesus speaking to his disciples, and he says about, I tell you in that night there shall be two men in one bed, the one shall be taken, the other left, two women grinding at the mill, one taking the other left, two men in the field, one taking the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. You see the cross-reference to Revelation chapter 19? Okay, the day when the Son of Man is revealed... This is the second coming. I, I mean, I have never even heard of this before. All right, it's it's so absurd. And you know, let's let's go back to the famous Matthew chapter twenty-four. Matthew twenty-four. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. It's right here. You mean to tell me this is the second coming, and up here is the third coming? This this guy has got rocks for brains. I don't even know if he has rocks in there. It might just be hollow up here. I mean, what an incredible false prophet.